BJPen.com. I have Sarah McMahon here, uh, getting ready to fight this weekend's Pro Elite. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, what do you think about your opponent, and what do you think about this event in general? Um, I don't know much about my opponent, uh, except that she um, wrestled in Hawaii, and that um, I've just been told that she's really tough. She's a tough stand-up fighter, and that um, she didn't tap uh, in an arm bar, so she's a lot of mental toughness, too. So. Okay. Now, you're undefeated as a mixed martial artist, correct? And you're also an Olympic silver medalist. Give me, give me your, um, give me your experience. Tell me about your experience in the Olympics and, and going through that whole process. Um, it w training for the Olympics was probably the hardest training I've ever had in my entire life. Um, just very physically and mentally straining, and um, the amount of pressure and uh, you know desire that goes in, that is involved with that is tremendous and um, it was just a really intensive experience and um, being able to get the silver I was I was heartbroken that I didn't get the gold but looking back on it now I, I did the best of my abilities and I just uh, I'm, I'm proud of the accomplishments that I have what made you what made you want to transition into MMA from, from being an Olympic athlete um, Things in wrestling started to get really political and it started to rob a lot of my desire from the sport, but um, I knew after I had my daughter, I knew I wasn't done competing. So I started out with jiu-jitsu because it's um, a lot of similarities, a lot of crossover, and I thought, this is a new sport, but you know the tools that help me be successful in wrestling will help me be successful in jiu-jitsu. And then um, after I started training jiu-jitsu a little bit, I started doing a little bit of striking and thinking about MMA, and once I started striking, I just fell in love with it. So. And it kind of went from there. Okay. And what do you think about the, the livelihood and, and uh, women's MMA? I think that it's growing faster, like every day. Um, the more attention that it gets, the more um, young athletic girls are going to look at it and say, hey, I think I can do that. And the stronger athletic pool that we get, uh, the more interest. I mean, it's just going to keep building on on each other. And the same thing happened to women's wrestling. It was relatively unheard of. We got put in the Olympics, and then I mean, just really athletic women, girls who were just tough and strong and capable started training for it, and it's just gotten tougher and tougher. Okay. Now, um, there's, a, there's another Olympic medalist, female mixed mm -hmm. martial artist, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Um, she fights for Strike Force. Um, do you see, you can put yourself in the same category. You guys are both women MMA artists, both mm -hmm. Olympic medalists. Is, is, that, is that an indicator that the, the level of athleticism in, in women's MMA is increasing? Uh, definitely. I think that the more you have high-level competitors entering a sport, um, it's going to help it. And I think that predominantly a lot of the girls that were successful were high-level high level, uh, Muay Thai girls and high-level Jiu-Jitsu. And we just add like a different component to it. And I think that it's going to force the women's uh, women's fighting to be more well-rounded. They're going to have to learn takedown defense and eventually takedowns on you know offense. And uh, it's just going to push the level of the competition. Awesome. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you for your time.